Ha! Ha ha! Hello, a very good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClure, and we are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. Nine o'clock, nothing gets past me, Sunday night. Time for show number 95. How good is that? Our 95th show, and we're live on Facebook Live. This is the big one. Well, welcome, welcome, I say. Love to have you with us. I see you all joining me there. That's tremendous stuff, and we'll have a brilliant show tonight, because we have so much to talk about and so little time to talk about it in. We will, of course, manage the odd tune for you, so don't worry about that. We'll get that sorted out, and you can choose either the squeeze box or the pipe organ. Good evening, says D Gourley. Good evening to you, D. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, Maggie Burrows has joined us. I hope you had a good weekend, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. I did, Thomas. Thank you very much for asking. God to Drysdale. Good evening, and Dinky Doo. Good evening to you. And and you do, of course, marvellous to have you with us. Now, I've got two devices run tonight, so two out, and uh, hopefully we will get sorted out there. Good evening, Scott. Dinky do says Andy McCrory. How marvellous to have you with us, Andy. Dinky do to you. Terrific stuff. Is that better? There we go. And we swatch up a clue as we go on. Right. Excellent stuff. Joseph Gibbons has joined us. Says, hello, sir. Hello to you, Joseph. Lovely to have you with us as well. Steve Burris. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, Steve. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, everybody. Hi, Scotty. Hope you've had a great week, says Gary Crossan. I have had Gary, and I hope you've had a great one as well. Lots to talk about tonight. Um, now, the old lady, actually two old ladies, one at a hundred that was knocked, attacked from behind, and the other one that was um, savagely, savagely attacked and beaten um, in her late 90s. Uh, so there you are. Uh, it's shocking, shocking stuff. What is this country coming to and what sort of punishment? should be meted out for the perpetrators of that sort of dreadful, dreadful act. Do tell us. We at the Stones concert last night, Scotty. I wasn't McHair. Were you at the Stones concert last night? And was it fabulous? Do tell. Spill the beans, I say. Very, very important. So there we go. Steve McKenzie is watching. Dave Hennessy, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, you're watching Scotty McClue. And we're live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. Sorry, Scotty. I'm watching Soccer Aid on IT. TV. Not to worry, Lee. You can turn it down, or you can uh, you can tune in to McClue, and um, or you can uh, watch McClue on uh, Facebook Live or Facebook. Uh, the video will still be up, and uh, we'll also upload it to YouTube later, so you'll be able to see that as well. Are you familiar with the old presenter called Ray Moore? Says Joseph Gibbons. I am indeed. I didn't meet Ray. He was from Liverpool. A wonderful, wonderful presenter. He did the early morning show on Radio 2 in the days when Radio 2 was the kind of stalwart of middle of the road listening. So uh, you had people like Ray Moore, you had Terry Wogan, Jimmy Young, folk like that on tremendous stuff. Judith Chalmers used to do a stint on there as well. And uh, you had all these terrific people. Kenny Everett. Marvellous, marvellous stuff, the radio. Sorry about the slight spelling error. Joseph, not at all. No problem at all. But yes, I remember Ray Moore in the morning. Uh, Ray was a bit of a smoker, actually. He had quite a heavy cough. I will remember that. But uh, he used to do uh, the Come Dancing, I'm sure, as well. Ray Moore did the Come Dancing announcements. Tremendous stuff. Thank you, Scotty. I do apologise. Feel like I've let you down. It's a Lee fan. You've never, ever, ever let my clue down. It's fantastic, Lee. We're up here. We're chit-chatting. We're in front of the world. We're, live. we're global. Hopefully we're being allowed, um, everyone's being allowed to see the programme, and that is absolutely tremendous. Not a problem at all. And Pete Murray. Yes, Pete Murray. David Jacobs was another great broadcaster. On, uh, on Radio 2, we used to have David Jacobs as well. Gosh, you're bringing back memories. The organist entertains, marching and waltzing, all that sort of stuff. Yes, I can remember the lot. Pete Murray, very, very good as well. I uh, watch the show on Facebook, though, says Lee Fan. I think you should, Lee. You can always have two shows running. It's not the end of the world if you have two shows running. And um, we're running an extra device tonight as well so that people don't lose out. I don't know. If anybody's got a split screen, let me know. Some mad people around, Scotty, should get life for murder. The concert was brilliant, Scotty. Do you know the Stones were staying while up here? Uh, so there we are. They were in a care home in Gilberton. 
says Machair Peverell. There we are. I think you're winding me up, Machair. Uh, so excellent stuff. Hello, says Miranda Campbell. Hello, Miranda. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster and first lord of the internet. I'm not sure if you saw the article in the New Statesman, like the shirt and tie, Scotty. Do you like that? Just thought I'd tidy myself up for my viewers tonight. Uh, so there you are. Article in the New Statesman saying how people are missing the shock jocks and the BBC is missing out because their stuff's become very kind of a little bit on the dull side now because LBC and big companies like that can do the shock jock which uh, we, we used to all do the chit chat and get into the argy bargy. And of course, I think the BBC should actually hire me. I do. I really think they should because uh, it would make complete sense. You think about it. I've been broadcasting for 34 years. I've been um, doing Scotty McClue phone-in shows now for 26 years in two weeks' time. I've never, ever put a foot wrong. So there we are. I've had one tiny, tiny complaint upheld out of uh, 36,000 hours of live unscripted broadcasting. So there you are, open to complete interactivity with the audience. Tremendous stuff. It would go brilliant on the BBC. And of course, they've got the uh, infrastructure. Sammy Stewart, big love, big love to you. Yes, says Miranda Campbell. Absolutely. So she's up for that as well, I say. A massive dinky do for Scotland after beating England at cricket. LMAO, says Alan Cadden. Hi, Scotty. Dinky do, pal. Dinky do. A very happy birthday to the Queen, says Steve Burrows. Yes, very happy official birthday to Her Majesty the Queen. Now, you'll notice Scotty McClue did not seem to appear on the honours list this year. Tut, tut, tutity, tut, tutity, tutity, tut. So there you go. Uh, my great heroes, both Jimmy Young and Terry Wogan, had gongs, of course, but it wouldn't change me one single iota. There, we need you back on the radio, Scotty, doing your stuff like the 90s, says Derek Miller. Absolutely. And not only a happy birthday to the Queen, a very happy birthday to His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. The Duke of Edinburgh, 97 today. Excellent stuff. I'm in the bath listening to your best way to spend my Sunday evening, Scotty. Legend, says Mark Hunter. Dinky do, Mark Hunter. Lovely to have you with us. And super stuff. Great to know that you're there. Uh, Scotty, I watched Tripping of the Colour. Absolutely marvellous. It makes me proud. However, I still want independence. Gary Crossan, you and I are singing from the same hymn sheet. Scotland needs to be um, united independently under the crown. So the Scots are united together. They are totally independent, they are under the crown, and they are in the EU. There you are, and that would give you an excellent base for starting. Scotty, um, who have we got here? Oh, Paul Carter's here, excellent stuff. And Mike Henfield, thank you, do lovely to have you with us. Loved your photo, Mike. Thought you looked absolutely amazing. It's um, 26 years and two weeks' time since we met, Mike. So there you are, tremendous. And uh, Mike Henfield, one of the world's top journalists and one of the world's greatest radio managers that you could ever ask for. And he actually hired Scotty McClue originally. So there you are, wonderful stuff. Excellent. Marie Johnson, lovely big laugh there. Um, Hi, Scotty. Good to see you, says Stephen Heggie. Dinky do. Wonderful Roddy Morrison's watching. Dinky do, Roddy. Lovely to know you're there. How are you doing, says Kieran Carroll, TC. Charles McLaughlin. Hi, Scotty. Is it my computer or is the program pausing all the time? It depends what you're actually looking at, Charles. We're running two devices tonight, so there might be a one a bit slow because it's got some big numbers on it. So uh, you never know. It might be a little bit slower. Sometimes as the numbers go up, as you know, we once lost a broadcast. There we are. Charlie Morrison joined us. Wonderful stuff. Kevin Pierce is watching. Dinky do. Now, guys, I'm looking for uh, your advice tonight. The old ladies that are being assaulted, one of them very, very savagely beating the other day. Absolutely heartbreaking. What's wrong this country and what sort of punishment should we give the perpetrators of that sort of criminal act. So there you are. Um, think you're ahead of your time. You must have been one of the original shock jocks. Don't always agree, but that's uh, opinions. Fair play, says Tony Richardson. Tony, you don't have to agree with me as long as you listen and we come to a conclusion that's right. We come out with something that's correct. Hi, Scotty. I hope you're well, says Paul Kyra. Uh, see what we win last week at Scotland's Business Awards. Tremendous stuff. Well, Paul Kyra, 
you put Scotty McClure around at Scotland's Business Awards, I'll tell you that, because I am in the market for doing interesting things. I do my Master of Ceremonies, I make speeches, I train people in the media, all sorts of stuff. Marvellous. Uh, have you heard the Bluebell Poker for the first time in ages? Can you play that, says Gordon Drysdale. Gordon Drysdale, if I could play the Bluebell Poker, I would be out playing every night. It's not an easy one to play. The great Jimmy Shand brought it to number one in the British charts. He was the biggest selling artist ever. People used to laugh at me. They used to say, Scotty, please, Jimmy Shand on his show. Biggest selling artist ever. Outsold Elvis. The whole lot. So, are police officers immune from the law? Uh, Thomas Hamilton, they are sick in the head, these people, Scotty. What's wrong? People have no respect for their elders anymore. You're absolutely right. Bring back hanging for these awful people, preying on the elderly. You know, Chris Kelly, it's a terrible thing to have to say it, but I actually thought the other day we need to bring back hanging and string these people up because we must get society back on track. Now, it's only a handful of baddies, but we need to put a stop to it. I don't like the concept of execution, taking another person's life, but that's what they are doing. Although Gandhi did say an eye for an eye, the whole world will be blind. So there you are. Um, Catherine McNeil, what's wrong? People have no respect. Yes, indeed. I could tell you the punishment, but I don't want to get blocked, says Steve Burrows. No, no, don't do that, Steve. Ron Stewart, dinky do, Scotty, old friend. Well said, Gary. Put the perpetrators in a room with the family and let them deal with the scumbags as they see fit. Hang the bar stewards, says Tony Richardson. No, don't hang any bar stewards, Tony. We won't be able to get a drink. So there you are. Stuart McKenna. Um, Scotty, do you know the difference between a police constable and a police officer? Very, very interesting. So there you are. I remember being invited to join the High Constables uh, for a dinner in Edinburgh, the High Constables. So there you are. And of course, the early constables were the Peelers. Uh, Sir Robert Peel had introduced them. Tremendous stuff. Did you see a TV program called Bad Lads Army? Uh, took a shower of real wasters, put them through a few weeks' national service, and it sorted them out, says Gary Crossan. I would think it would, Gary. Yes, very, very good idea. So there you are. Murray Ramage has joined us. Uh, Dinky do. It's called the New World Order, says Everett Clifford. Everett, explain the New World Order to us all, if you would, because we do need to sort it out. And as I say, I don't like the idea of execution. Uh, you know, I've only met one really bad man in my life, just one, and uh, he'll know who he is. But uh, you think to yourself, what should the punishments be for badness? So there you are. Uh, now, now, Scotty, give me a mention, says George Rennick. Yes, you've had a mention, George, not a problem. So bring back national service for these mindless animals, says Alistair King. Alistair, I think that's an insult to animals, to be quite honest with you. So there you are. Scotty, that was my attempt at being PC, says Tony Richardson. Oh, I see, Tony, an attempt at being PC. Scotty, I think you'd be a good high court judge. Judge McClue. So there we are. We might bring a program out for that. So there you are. Judge McClue. Excellent stuff. Ron Stewart, dinky do to you. Uh, Scotty, what's your views? Evening boss, still very warm. Dinky do, says Murray Ramage. Scotty, what's your views on council tax and the people who can't afford to pay it but being forced into unlawful and illegal debt? I think if you can't pay, then th there is a law called non-habit, right? Non-habit. You can't take money from somebody that doesn't have it. They are the non-habet rule. Uh, so a uh, Latin term, of course, non-habet. The Bilderberg Group, Google it. It'll explain a lot, says Everett Clifford. Everett, do you not think if there was a new world order, Scotty McClue would be invited to sit at the table? Come on now, for goodness sake. Uh, the program might be on YouTube. The lads that thought they were hard dropped out after the National Service stint, many of them joined up to the army. Says Gary Crossan. Ah, very interesting, Gary. I seem to have frozen a little bit. So hopefully I will stop frozen. What a funny expression on my face. Bring back the electric chair, says Steve Burrows. Now, the electric chair, have you ever seen that, Steve Burrows? The green mile. Bit shocking, actually. Uh, so there you are. Sammy, I can't discuss that. So there you are. Um, are we mentioned Scotty Boy, says David Ruff. Yes, absolutely. Yes, but council tax is enforced 
by a private company 